the president is going to exercise his authority. He's going to use his pen and his phone to uh, advance an agenda that is focused squarely on expanding opportunity, making sure that in America, hard work and responsibility are rewarded uh, and that opportunity is expanded. I think if you want to work with somebody, you don't start with a threat. And uh, there was a little uh, bit of a menacing tone in terms of this, uh, I've got my pen or I've got my phone speech that he made. I think the president's got a big choice to make. Is it going to be a, a speech about confrontation or is it going to be a speech about cooperation? We've demonstrated in recent months, uh, if you'll meet us uh, halfway, we'll find some common ground, work with you. If that's what he wants to do, we can have a productive year. Setting up for the State of the Union address tomorrow night, uh, the president is putting the final touches, we're told, on the speech. We don't know exactly how long it's going to be, but today the White House even tweeted out a photo of the pen the president can use to write his speech or take that executive action that they've talked about. This comes as some new polls are out. Uh, there's a new poll that's very interesting, ABC Washington Post poll. How much confidence do you have in President Obama to make the right decision for the country's future? great deal or good amount, 37 percent, some or none, 63 percent. That's the environment in which the State of the Union address takes place tomorrow night. Let's bring in our panel. Steve